All right, so we've got the King Kong GT out. We're gonna give it a quick test flight, see how it does, and then we'll have Ben give it a flight because he's much better at this than me and he can tell you a little bit more about tuning. So this and give you a little quick review of it. Is it the motor stop that's the hardest part? Yeah, it's the hardest part to get over. Because you can't drop the stick all I can't that. drop the stick and I'm completely like, that's how I do all my maneuvers, so. It's kind of a learned. <laughs> yeah. That's it's a very easy habit. thing to do for a beginner. But. but how's the rest of the actual tune as far as the... It's a, the rates are very good for a beginner to learn off of. And the tune, it's a little wobbly, but it's definitely a good enough to come by. It's not snappy or anything. It's not snappy, but but it's it's good enough. I think it definitely has the tuning capability. Yeah, definitely. You're doing a lot better with it than I was. I couldn't handle the motor stop. Yeah, I'm only being able, able to do flips and whirls right now, but I will be later. I will do more. Let's bring it in. We can uh, already. Let's tune it. All right. So we both agreed that it was uh, the motor stop is too weird. So yeah. This one comes with clean flight installed. Beta flight would be better, but for this quick out in the field test, we'll just, and no internet. <laughs> yep. Just swap the. Uh... So you go to configuration, and then you just simply press, ter uh, tap on motor stop, and then just put, click save. Once that's done, you just click disconnect, and then you're done. Yep. Oh, there it is. One simple fix is going to make a big difference. So it's all wobbly and stuff once you turn around and stuff. But if you go over to beta flight, it just helps it. Yeah, the rates are definitely perfect for a beginner. It's not too fast or not too slow. So you don't spin and end up in a continuous spin that you don't know where yeah, to exactly. stop. Like, that was... Yeah, it's a little bit of a sloppy too. Let's see what it does with 4S. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we're going to not only change to 4S, but we're going to also change to Tri-Blade. And these are those Cyclone Tri-Blades, so they should be a little bit more aggressive, just in general. Nice. Look like candy. <laughs> <laughs> Almost hit the roof. Oh my gosh. Different beast. This tune is so much better. Holy moly. No. Just from the uh, The cyclones and the forest are just makes this a lot snappier. Snappier. Look at the power. Holy Sit. Man. Yeah, there's some there's some definite power there. I mean, that was not, I haven't even done full stick. You haven't right, done a full punch out yet? All right, here we go. Man. Hear it up here. That is fast. Oh! Peering through this guy. I'm trying to find you. There you are. The tune is definitely very hard to use. So fast. The power is there. Just has to get the right tune. Just the right tune, and this thing will be golden. You can see it screaming. You need a little more camera tilt, probably, too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> With that speed, holy cow. I've never experienced this much power. Yeah, it's very sloppy. 
You can see the wobble a little bit too when it comes. Whoa, tree. Oh no. Good landing. No. Didn't look bad. Seems good. Just the ground. Well, that one's bent a little, huh? Just bend it down. I see how's it line up. Yeah. It look all right. Man, that was a beast. I mean. You can see how it like, it's not very snappy, but it's, it's definitely good enough. Yeah. It's a starting point. It's definitely a starting point. Beginners won't really notice. So that's, I mean, that's yeah. what's really towards. Okay.